the game. I run the game. I run the I run the macro my name. I run the game. What up everybody? Charles Macro here today back again, jumping back into Planet Zoo. All right, guys, we're picking up where we left off with the successful start series, showing you how to start and make a profit without overdoing it and going into the red and losing animals. And what I'm doing now is putting some of our animals into our second pen, our new pen. So I just um, got this buffalo set up for delivery. And oh, and actually, oh, man, I got to move him. I put him in the wild dog pen. He's about to get delivered in there with the wild dogs. That's not good. Oh, he's in there. They will attack him. Oh, no. Oh, no. I got to get him out. And I got this thing on a fast speed. Okay. Okay. Hopefully my... Okay. Woo. He went back and picked him up. Man, that was going to start really badly. <laughs> really badly. Okay. So I'm moving my buffalo in here into this new habitat. Habitat number two. And as you can see down at the bottom, I have $109,000. Oh, we got big money, baby. So, yeah. So, if you haven't seen or been watching the series, go back, start at the first episode, and you can see the best way. You take it slow, but you can get a profitable part. Then you don't have to worry about running out of money and, and your animals dying or not being able to grow like you want to. Because that's what happened to me the first time I played. That's what happened the first time I played Planet Coaster. You got to figure out that balance. And usually it's just starting small and taking your time. All right. So we're moving animals into our new pen. And this is going to be a diverse pen. And uh, make sure you like. Make sure you subscribe, guys. Share this so others can check this out. Also, the full game released. This is actually some of the early access footage because I had got the game in this early uh, beta, even though it was basically done. They just had a few things locked, but it is the full game. And I was able to give you guys this successful start because the full game was out in early access. But now they've opened it up and it's so much more in the game. So I'm going to do a video talking about uh, just some of the new additions to the new game once it's released and some of the updates that have come out since because they've actually added updates, DLC. Some of the DLC is paid but it does at least give you new content it gives you animal pins gives you more animals different types of animals um and, and then just more things you can build so they do an amazing job with this game and even the content that they add that is paid is content that is worth it all right so let's keep going um so we're gonna add some more of these i'm showing my cash listings and i'm just looking for some more animals that i can buy um but let me look let me go back because i really want to get most of these buffalo out so we're going to add a female to this pen. Let's go ahead and schedule that delivery. All right, all right, all right. And let's see. The welfare of this pen for buffaloes isn't good. It's only 17%. Nutrition, 17%. Social is good because we have a few in here now. And the habitat is at about 79%. But we do have to add more to it. So let's look at the information uh, for the buffalo. Uh, actually, hold on. Let me look at this pen real quick. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Ah, so I'm going to call a keeper here. Okay, we're only making 18 right now, but that's okay. All right, we're calling a keeper here so that they can add some food to the pen. All right, that's another buffalo in here. Look at that. Look at that. We got us some buffaloes, baby. B-dubs. B-dubs. Buffalo wild wings. Buffalo wild wings and whack. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. So let's look at our trading center now that we have some buffalo in there. And do we want to go ahead and add? Okay. Yes. Let's add us another female to the pen. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, let's add some ostriches. Now, right now, I only have male ostriches. So, hopefully, there'll be some more available in the um, in the shop. All right. Let's see. We'll add one of these warthogs. We got a female. Um. Oh, actually, that's what I say. Okay, okay. I want to add this now. We do have two females and a male. Um, okay, so let's go on and move this one in. Let's see, they're delivering them. Look at that. Ah, look at it. Look at the, the African buffalo. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, his habitat's cool. His social is good. Uh, we do have to modify the terrain. Okay, they want less short grass, more long grass, uh, less soil. We got too much soil, so let me get rid of some of this. And add some grass at the same time. But we're getting rid of some of this short grass because we just got way too much short grass. All right, let's clear this up. Ah, right, there we go. We got the long grass at the same time. They happy about that. They happy about that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now we're going to add some soil. Look at the buffaloes in there in the water. Look at the buffaloes over there in the water. Uh, because these are African buffalo, there's just soil. You know, it reminds them of the Serengeti, you know what I mean? And, and some of the different areas, you know, the heat in the desert and whatnot. All right, all right. Now, they also like certain types of trees. And sometimes you have to take those and um, remove certain types of trees. But okay, we are good. Now, the enrichments, I don't have a lot yet because you have to do research. And I don't even have the research center because you don't need the research initially to make money. So you just leave the research center out because it costs. You got to pay staff. It costs to own the building. So that's just the different maintenance and upkeep. So yeah, you don't you don't even want that uh, the research in the beginning. You don't need it. Oh Lord, I got protesters. They protesting about the welfare. Okay, we're gonna get the welfare, but oh, uh oh, is he okay? Oh, he is he hungry? Oh man. Um. Oh, I gotta call a vet. He is hurt. He is hurt. Let's see, last meal quality, last drink cleanliness. Okay, I guess they're drinking. Oh, they drinking from that little pond, and it's dirty because they've been sticking their body in it. So I need a better source of uh, water. I gotta fix that. We still making money though. We still making money though. You know, we do got some protesters. Okay, the adult population. Okay, immunity, fertility, size. Okay, that's just genetic makeup. You gotta pay attention to that. That helps with breeding and then knowing how much or how well they'll survive. Look at our ostrich we got in there. What's up there, Ostie the ostrich? Okay, we losing a little bit of money now. But that's okay. We got 100K. I made sure I had 100K before I even started this new pen. Or started adding animals to this new pen. Okay, the buffalo's up now, so he must be doing a little better. Even though he looks sick. Yeah, you got to keep their health balanced, keep their happiness balanced. Because protesters come, and then the protesters run off your uh your customers you know they run off your visitors for your part hmm so let's see i may want to open this side up to let them view on the back end even though this is kind of their private area they can go actually inside of the enclosure to really get true privacy so we may be able to still open something up for the people who are circling around so they're going around the park but look at that though it's coming along nicely it's coming along nicely Coming along nicely. Okay, okay, okay. Hmm. What do we want to do here? Let's see. We're losing about 200 a month now. So we got to correct some of this. Okay. Standard ticket prices are fair. Okay. So much room to walk around. The place rocks. The zoo feels pretty small. But the ticket price is fair. When the ticket price is fair, that means you can raise it. If it doesn't say, um, no, I think fair is where you want to get it. That's right. If it's green, you can actually raise it up some. Okay, so we have to, oh, 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 I didn't mean to delete everything. You know, I put this together. I just wanted to delete some walls. You got to edit the group because um, this is all one piece. So, we got to add some more of these uh, buildings, some of these administrative type buildings. So let's see our facilities. That's what we want to call them. All right. So we need a we definitely need a research facility. Hold on. What am I looking for? What am I looking for? Give me a second. Give me a second. This guest facility, staff facilities. And I want to do the green one. Got the trace in the staff room, research, quarantine. Okay, so we're going to add a quarantine first. Let me go. Let's give a little space right here. 
We can give them two boxes. We want to be able to put a path in there. Even though I like to keep these enclosed so the people can't really see what's inside with the staff buildings. Um, okay, yeah, here we go. We want to give them a little room so we can have some paths. So now we have a research center. Okay. So I'm going to fix this back up. Yeah, this is always, always entertaining. So let's go on and extend this wall. Extend this wall. And then we'll also extend this wall. I put this outside wall up to keep the uh, visitors from being able to see our staff room. They really don't like to see staff buildings. And then I went ahead and closed it as well um, with a just a building structure of walls, you know, kind of like its own little center. And that also helps. All right, so we're gonna put a staff path and we'll run this staff path to these staff buildings. Okay, come on. All right, let those lock. Eh, it's kind of ugly, but. Uh, how we wanna do this, how we wanna do this? I need to run it from the buildings first. Make it a little straighter. Eh, it's still a little ugly. Okay. I that's going to work. That's going to have to work. <laughs> That's going to have to work. And we'll keep this going. We'll make a little outside path so that uh, the staff can go that way. I'm really trying to get this thing to work straight. So I'm doing like an outside bam and then I just make a straight path from it. Yeah, that works a little better. That's cleaner. That's cleaner. That is much cleaner. And just doing some modifications. Just doing some modifications. All right. So the staff path now will go all the way around. And maybe I'll put the walls on the outside. Maybe we'll put the walls on the outside. All right, cool. And once we enclose this building, we'll edit the group. Let's make a little copy of this wall. All right, let's go on and connect these. Yes, yes. Ah, look at that, look at that. You can keep it fairly basic, but we're, we're going to upgrade it and, you know, make it a little fancier. But initially, just, just keep it basic, straightforward till you really learn your design style. All right, let's go on and close this. Uh, let me rotate this. Bam. All right. All right. Bam. Cool. That's their own little walkway right there. And then we'll kind of close this as well. Okay. Okay. Bam, bam, bam. I don't think those line up exactly right. But uh, we'll, we'll fix that. I actually could have brought the road in there as well, but... Yeah. Let's go on and copy this frame. We're kind of putting this open frame on the door. There might be a better one, and I'll fix it later if I find it. But for right now, uh, this one is going to have to uh, be the one. Okay, you see this wall sticking out a little bit, so we want to move that. And there we go. Make it all line up nice and neat. We are missing one wall panel. Okay. Let's figure out what we want to research first. Mm, we losing quite a bit of money. The profit seems to go down a little bit at night, though. So that may be a, a product of that. Okay. So we'll hire another keeper. Bam. Am I my zoo's keeper? Yes, I am. Did do one more mechanic. And you can do zones and things of that nature and um, have them actually work or mine certain areas. But we'll get to that, you know, a little going a little for, further or going forward. Let's see. So now I need to put somebody on research. 
still figuring out research a bit, but I know that again, you let time go by and it'll open up the different things that they need um, for the animals so that they're happy so they can play, you know, toys, the signage uh, to inform the uh, visitors. Let's see, do I put it on like that? That should be it, right? And that's why the animal's welfare is kind of low. Like I got to research some of these different toys and food items. Okay, I don't think I actually got it on the research. Okay, and the health of this animal, okay, the nutrition. See, the last meal quality, that last, that drink cleanliness, man, I got to figure out how to get this water clean. And it may be a, a early thing where it's no way to get it clean. Um, it may be something that update fix or fixes. I'm not sure, but we're going to, to try. But yeah, right now this water is becoming a problem. So I got to get them. Up. Oh, did he just poop? Is that a bunch of poop up there? <laughs> he left them. He left some jumbos over there. That's some jumbos. Wow. Okay. Cause yeah, he's drinking this, this water. Right, let me see how it makes his nutrition. Yeah, that can't be good. That can't be good. So we got to figure that out. We got to figure that out. Okay. All right, all right. Well, let's see how we're coming along here. See how we're coming along here. Let's look at some of these animals in here. Okay, I'm calling my keeper. Hopefully, he'll clean the water or something. But let's look at the animals because you can look at them, look at their habitats to see what they're happy about, what they don't, what they don't like, what they need. So, like, they need more bedding for these warhogs. Okay. It's food quality one. Okay. Feeder enrichment zero because I don't have any of that research yet. The ostriches. Let's see. The buffaloes have the most issues. Okay. Food quality toys enrichment. Okay. So, a lot of that opens up with research. So, now that we have the research uh, available and the research going, we should be able to help you know, make the environment or make the conditions a lot better for our animals here because we want the conditions to be optimal for our animals so we can make more money. It makes the people happy. What well, makes the animals happy, then it makes the people happy. Okay, so we, we do have research going for the buffalo. Okay. And uh, these are all our animals right here that we have out right now. Do we need some male buffalo? Let's see. Okay, ostrich, got some bears. Oh, some zebras. Some Nile monitors. I had to get some of them. Okay. See, we're losing some money. It does that at night, though. When a new day hits, you usually get back to making more money. We were losing some money, but... Um, luckily, we have so much money that we saved up. It gives us some time, gives us a little buffer. So that we can get things back right. Alright, so we're continuing. I forgot to finish this path right here. That brings people back to the food court where they can sit down and eat. They're enjoying seeing the animals. And we're getting a nice crowd though. We're getting us a nice crowd. Yes. Yes. Thank you all. Thank you all for being here. Thank you all for coming to the zoo and supporting our animal wildlife. Yes, yes. Yours. Donation box that made 16000 Nice. Let me put some more donation boxes here by where they're, uh, where they're congregating the most. Got to have you these donation boxes out here. So definitely put those all over. Um, it doesn't, there is no like maintenance fee, you know, and a charge for having them out there like a monthly or daily fee. So just put them out there as many as you can afford and it gives people more chances to donate and put them by spots that are hot, you know, put them by hot spots. Okay. This should help us get that money back up. Help us get that money back up. Let's get this money. 
I'm really happy the people are enjoying our new habitat. They're really enjoying our new habitat. And as I said, if you start slow and you do some of what we do in the Successful Star series, you'll be able to get you your money too. And you can sit there for a minute, just fast forward, you know, walk away for a moment and let your money stack up. So you put your boxes all around and people can donate when in passing or when they're standing right by the uh, exhibit watching your animals. You want right here. Okay, okay, okay. So we should put some around this outer uh, walkway as well. Okay, we're coming along well. So I'm going to put more of those out. Now let's check on the animal market. Let's see if we can find any more of the animals we have in our pen. Um, okay, we got male and female African wild dogs. We got a female. Let's adopt those. Okay, grizzly bears. Springbok. Okay. That's cool. Okay, and let's look at our research. Oh, wait a minute. Why are we? Nothing's happening. Oh, I didn't make sure you dropped on there. Dog on it. Okay, so now we're getting our research done. I thought it was researching. And I did feel, I was like, maybe it didn't need it. But okay, so you see it light up. We see it's green. So, okay, after a certain amount of time, we'll unlock level one and get all these things open. Okay, okay. So that'd be great. So good. The recreation, um, the education, and then just some more facts and knowledge, it looks like, about the animal. All right, cool, cool. We definitely need that. Definitely need that. I'm glad that we caught that, actually. We almost missed that. Yeah, we almost missed that. Okay, cool. But now that we know we in the game, I'll let this keep researching go up to uh, level two. All right, so let's look. So, again, the park is coming along nicely. Let's see. The, fa the zoo family ticket price is good. Okay, just seeing what some of the people are saying. Habitat 2 water looks undrinkable. Yeah, it does look a little, yeah. Not much scenery there. Okay. What we're going to do is raise the ticket prices. Because what I found is if the ticket prices is fair, then they're good. Yeah, well, we're going to play around with it. But uh, but if they say fair, I know that means you're good. Okay. See, they just said it's too expensive. So I need to go down. And actually, I think they said the family one was the one that was good. So let me go up on the family. Okay, standard ticket price is too expensive, but they might not have came through when I had just changed it. So hold on, let's see. Here's a family. Okay, family ticket price is a fair. And let's look at this one with the adult. Look at these people stuck. <laughs> they, they, they sun walking. Okay, standard ticket price is a fair. Cool, cool, cool. So if they say that the ticket prices are good, that means you're a dollar too cheap and you need to raise your price by a dollar. They say it's great, that means you need to go up uh, by two and I'm thinking it might be one more that they say that's like fantastic or you know excellent or whatever that means it's like three or more and you really need to get your ticket prices up because you could be earning that money um you know earning more money on your entry fee to help you stay out of the red but okay so yeah just keep that in mind keep that in mind all right oh vet research is complete check the research management screen okay ah there we go research collected congratulations you discovered three items over one species yeah all right there we go there we go so now we're researching level two yes yes okay and your veterinarians do your research nice 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 so that means okay we at least should have some toys to put out there we also can put the signage for the people okay so guys, and I think we'll wrap it up right here. Hit me in that comment box. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, share this so others can check it out. Charles Macro, Planet Zoo. Thank you for stopping through, and I'm going to holler at you. Peace. I run the game. I run the game. I run the, I run the macro, my name. I run the game.